I'm always going to be glowing green now, at least whenever I have the Claranthe ring on. Fifty-two thousand souls that I can't use. But since I have that many, might as well spend them on something before I just die and lose them all. Uh, I'll take this. I'm not. I. I don't really need that much, but sure, I'll take it anyway. Don't need arrows or any of that. Could take some of these if I wanted to level up my armor. So 15 is probably good. Oi. I just gave you a bunch of souls for shards and stuff. I can't just hang out with you all the time, Andre. I've got places to be. People were counting on me, but now I'm freed from duty, so I can just roam around wherever. So this place has a bunch of traps in it. It's kind of a cool area, actually. One downside, of course, would be snake people. Well, here's the first of the traps. Should at least do some damage to them. Jump attack! Oh. Alright, well he's dead. This one should be weak, because he took at least a few bolts from that. Yeah, snake man, get it. How are we doing on health now? Eh, could be better. This is a pretty large soul over here. Not sure what we'd need it for. But never hurts to have it. Oh, that was close. I don't usually have trouble with that. I try to just run past this guy. Because chances are... He will get knocked off by this, unless he gets lucky. Like, what happened? Did he already fall? <laughs> yeah, guess so. Point proven. Now for this guy, I usually wait for him so his lightning hits the blades like that. But now it's probably going to go through, yeah. There we go. Now you should let the trap take out the rest of you. Aw, oh, not close enough. Oh, that jump attack will do it. And I will take myself two large Titanite shards. I only need three more now. Oh no, whatever shall I do? We could talk to that guy down there to start his side quest, but I don't really need to. Uh, no. Mm, I don't know. I could go up there. Oh, boulder strikes again. We'll take it. Might as well. Just just to have it, I guess. A ring of steel protection, which boosts our defense a bit. And these boulders are just tearing you guys apart. These snake people didn't get the memo about them. Yeah, hey, we're putting in boulders today, guys. Please don't try to get yourself killed. Another pressure plate. Okay, just gonna run because the boulder will follow us down here. Oh god, no, it's closer than I thought. Oh, we might be in trouble. Roll. Am I alive? Please, please let me be alive. Oh, thank you. 150 hit points left. Okay. <laughs> That went better than expected. Now we wait for boulders to fill up this pit. A pit that somehow only fills up when we're watching it. Doesn't take too many boulders. So we'll just take a breather. How you guys doing? I'm here all, all pretty bacony. I smell pretty good and pretty bad at the same time kind of conflicting having to live this way. And one more should break the wall. Come on, Boulder. I'm cheering you on. Don't want to get ran over, though. And boom. Now I'm going to need this ring because that helps with item drops. Definitely helps with farming items. 
We could open this chest. It's a, uh, a mimic chest, actually. I'll try to show this off and then escape quickly. That's like a vague look at him. We'll fight more of those later on. Much to my surprise, they can actually do like judo spin kicks. I was so taken aback that one actually killed me with it. Don't roll this way. So we'll just move this out of the way. No real need to, I guess. Normally I can just run straight through this, but I'm also not wearing armor most of the time, so I'm not going to risk it. There's more large Titanite shards to the left, but I don't know if it would be worth the risk. Could focus on just getting to the bonfire first. I think that's the better idea here. Don't you roar at me, Snake. How are you still alive? My club is plus eight. There's another one to our left right there that's gonna throw magic. And even the bonfire here is pretty well hidden. Avoid that item because that guy over there can throw fiery boulders at you. Then we drop down here and here's our bonfire. I can actually reinforce my weapon myself now. Huh, really, I only need one more. Okay then, I don't need to take that risk at all. Because there is, I think, two more up here. It's at least one or two. Gonna have like a fully pimped out club. At least for the moment. And one final reinforcement. Reinforce club plus 10. I like it. Still not sure what to do about the armor situation. I haven't really committed to any certain armor. Which would be why I haven't upgraded any armor yet. Let's go ahead and grab this anyway. Oh, that's right. This guy, we have to kill him or he will interrupt our boss fight. Killing him also gives us another chunk. So that's going to decrease my grinding time a bit more. I also didn't know that this was actually a shortcut either. You can find a cage key in here and take that all the way back down to the start of the area. Yeah, never really knew about that. It's like, oh, look at those cages, just part of the background, but nope. I'm sure there's still a bunch of stuff that I don't know about this game, which I think is kind of cool because seeing as how long I played this game and there's still new stuff in it, I like that. Here's the door to the boss fight. If we were human, we could summon a pretty powerful guy over there named Tarkus, I believe. And he does a lot of damage to the boss. The only problem is he only attacks like every 30 seconds. So if he wasn't so lazy, he'd be quite formidable indeed. Now for these guys, we want to wait for them to throw a temper tantrum. In the meantime, let's attack their knees. Oh shit, there it is. Now he's over there swinging his arms around because he didn't get what he wants. And now he has to take a nap. Giving us enough time to whoop him. How dare you act that badly in public? Never taken you anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. And a chunk for me. That's our third one, right? Pretty good start. I believe I'm only going to need four more now. Or three more, I'm not sure. So let's go into this boss fight with low health. I actually beat this guy, the Iron Golem, with a shield only. It took forever. But doing stuff like that definitely gets you familiar with all of their moves. Now that we have him back here, we can hopefully knock him off the edge, but he's gonna grab me. 
And am I alive? I am certainly not alive. Been playing this for a while now. That's all right. We're almost done. I'll just defeat him, get to the next bonfire, and call it a night. Making pretty good progress still. We could kill this guy. He's responsible for all the boulder traps in Sen's Fortress. But he also comes back when you kill him. I'm not sure what he drops. He might be able to drop chunks too. I would assume so. Much too big for just large Titanite shards. And he's not hurting us anymore. And he's actually probably killing more snakes. So technically he's on our side. For this iron golem, you can knock him off the ledge actually, which is a pretty quick way of killing him. So we're gonna go for that. Cause that's also more fun and pretty funny. No crossbow for me. But to do that, it's best to run out to him quickly. Because where he's standing right now is the best spot to do it. Just stay right here on this narrow little platform. And I'm gonna smack your ankles a little bit. I think he backed up a little too far. Oh, now he's stumbling. Even if we can just knock him down, uh, well, a kick isn't gonna do it. But if we can knock, oh, is he? No. Oh well, he does stay down for a long time, so we do have plenty of time to get some hits in. Right in the sensitive spots. Even if you kill me, you're definitely not having kids. And dead already. Not much to it. Hurrah! Oh no, I'm being kidnapped. I need the guy from I need the guy from Ghouls and Ghosts to come and save me now. And these guys will actually be enemies later on. Now that's more like it. The fancy life. Castles and shit. No more nasty swamps or trap riddled fortresses. But if we want to fit in here, we're definitely going to need some clear skin. And if you do want to return to Sin's Fortress, they are there waiting for you. All creepy like. So here we are, Anorlando. Probably one of the prettiest looking places in the game. But don't let the looks fool you, this place can be pretty evil, <laughs> as I'm sure you will find out next time. And even still, I kind of just want to keep playing, but nah, I'll stop for now. Been playing for like, approaching two hours, so. Two hours overall. I'm not sure how long that's going to be after I edit everything. But yeah, we will stop here for now. How many souls do we have? 64,000. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see how much that would level us up. I could get to level 30 right now. But that wouldn't be any fun. Yeah, still level one, had to make sure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we should have, yeah, getting quite a lot of humanity as well. Lotion crystal. Make it so my neighbors won't shun me anymore. Have I picked up any better armor? That looks better. 
I was wearing this most of the time. Guess it's time to go back to our roots. I just don't like that I'm not wearing any shoes now. But I guess Anne Orlando is a pretty clean place, so that's cool. We can just walk around in our uh, kind of ominous robes, but they do have some bling on them. Nice little golden belt. But yeah, uh, I think I'll call this session here. Next time, we will work our way through Anne Orlando. I think, it, yeah, it came with a helmet too, but as always, I don't like helmets much. You can vaguely still see my face if I want to look extra ominous, but nah. We're friendly, except friendly yet angry. But anyway, next time we will get through Anne Orlando and fight Ornstein and Smo. Probably a lot. I'm going to guess there's going to be a lot of death involved in that. But as I said, I'm both looking forward to it and dreading it at the same time. But that's going to be next time, which won't be too much longer probably, because I am having a lot of fun with this game. But for now, our hero shall rest. And I shall say I hope you've enjoyed the videos, and we will see you next time.